deep because there's something he wants to unveil that's even deeper for your ministry as a team. And it's going to take on not just only a team ministry, but a oneness. And God's going to begin to give you revelation, man of God, in, in terms of the men. There is a revelatory word. God says you have an Elijah anointing the spirit of the Father. It's going to begin to come wow. forth apostolically in your life. You're going to begin to see a major move of God in the region of Missouri. I'm from Missouri myself, okay? So we've got some kinship here going on. But you're going to begin to see some, some major things going on. And moment of God, the Lord says you are as well. With, even, I hear Joyce Myers. When I hear a name, you can bank on it because God gave it to me. And so I'm just saying to you, even with children, yeah, there's some inhibition sometimes in dealing in that particular area, but God says he's going to fix it for you. God is going to fix it for you. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, um, there's a marriage kit that you're going to put together, and it's going to come out of your loans. He said, he said, begin to work on the technicality of it, because it's going to be unique. He said, but come back in. I just bless you, man of God and woman of God. I mean, you've always been doing awesome work in the city. And I'm so humble, and I don't take that light. But you to say that to me, it's just all, I'm, I'm almost on the floor. That's true. But it's an honor that God would allow us to come back. You know, and I can hear from even the information regarding your diabetes and other things that your wife is telling me about. And I pray you do get in touch with me because we will be leaving out. But this is a new season. And God says he is breaking some things off of you, prophet, that had tried to hinder your ministry from going up. God said the foundation now is beginning to smooth out. You're beginning to sense it yourself. Yeah, yeah. You're beginning to sense it. And the Lord said it felt like there was a rockiness and you were just thinking of some things. Okay, God, now come on, you told me this, you called me to this. But God said now begin to work on the infrastructure like never before. He said begin to stand as the prophetic grace that's up on your life. As the woman of God said, you spoke the word, it was a suddenly. Immediately it was a manifestation. God says to tell you to begin to prophesy concerning your leadership. God said begin to say to tell him what you want. Those that have particular giftings that are to be aligned themselves with you. God said certain personalities cause clash and they cause an, cause an uproar because they didn't know how to flow with your grace and your anointing. And God said because you're merciful, you've been kind and merciful, you kind of hang on to them. God said, but you, nothing wrong with keeping them in their place. But he said, I, it's, I hear the word stallion. God said, he's raising up those that can run with you. Right. Those that can see the vision and become yeah. one with the vision. Wow. I hear the Lord said, yes, yeah, truly there's a Samuel mantle upon your life that your words will not fall to the ground and die. Amen. But I also hear the Lord saying, in this hour, he said, begin to father and raise up sons. Because there's an apostolic and a kingdom grace that's going to come upon your ministry. It's going to come up on it, and you're going to sense the glory suddenly to do what you did not experience as a young man. He said, and that is to raise up sons and to become a father. He said, a father of nation. He said, hear what I'm saying. It's going to begin to happen suddenly. A multiple culture, a multicultural move of God. He said, don't just look in the same region of the same people anymore. He said, know that this thing is getting ready to spread out. He said, as wings of an eagle, I'm getting ready to raise you up. Amen. Amen. As wings of an eagle. Woman of God, there's some things that you've been asking God for. And the Lord said to me to tell you yes. He said, you are an awesome. And you know, I talked to you and your husband. We were at the radio station like the year before last or something like that. So I'm not, I'm not speaking concerning that. I'm speaking what I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying. That you have an anointing upon your life to train and to impart and to teach uh, business skills. Mm. Entrepreneurial skills. He said, you got an anointing as a prophet. You have that teaching mantle by revelation. You can even see people's gift, and you can even speak, excuse me, into their life what they have, excuse me, quite developed. God says, take 
Begin to take what he has given you, and I think it's that young woman was saying, and begin to put it. He said, you know those cards, I literally hear him saying that, you know, like cards, put, put it down in, 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 in a structured but really simple way. And God says it's going to be different business ideas, different uh, means to get people out of debt. And that ministry, I don't know if you still have your ministry again when you were in the downtown. Uh -huh. Do you still have that ministry? Yeah. Okay, he said, but that's going to be an increase in that. He said, he said there's going to be a supernatural partnership and collaboration mm -hmm. with some business owners and business people. He said he's getting ready to bring that back again. He said there's a, a, a restoration. He said the enemy came in to try to steal. He said, but there's a restoration coming. I hear God saying to those of you that are here, just lift your hands up. There's something God is releasing in the heavens. Wow. He says there's a supernatural move of God. God says that he's releasing supernatural angels. Angels on assignment for you. God says you've been laboring. You've been working. You've been working in, in effort. You've been working hard. But God says I am commissioning.